Hi guys, Marianne Little from Short Sale Mitigation. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I am co-owner of uh, Short Sale Mitigation, a third-party negotiation firm. Uh, we are originally based in Massachusetts, uh, but we negotiate in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Maine, and are getting our debt negotiation license in Connecticut. Um, so we have been around some time, probably longer than anyone else that uh, you may or may not be working with as a third-party negotiator. We know what we're doing. Um, ask questions if you are going to use a third-party negotiator. So one of the questions that I am asked or a lot of the times when a uh, agent brings me a file, this is a good tip, and it's, this has happened more times than I care to share, but they will bring me a file and they'll say, listen, I have a homeowner situation, it's going to be a short sale, and the sellers are getting divorced. Um, and it's always, that can be a touchy situation all around, uh, or they already are divorced. And it's possible that um, the husband doesn't want to participate, or that it's contentious or something, or maybe the wife doesn't want to participate. Um, the rule of thumb agents, when you take on this type of listing, is if both owners are on the note, they're on the mortgage note, and you, you can't always tell if it's online. You would have to ask for a mortgage statement. So that's a tip too. So the mortgage note, um, what you might see on the mortgage online might have both spouses' names, but um, that may not actually identify who's on the note. And the way to tell that is who is on the mortgage statement. Ask the seller for a copy of the statement. So if both sellers are on the note, then you'll need to get both sellers permission to do the sale, at least with the short sale, because both spouses will need to, um, ooh, that's a big truck. Both, both, both sellers are going to need to participate because they both have to sign short sale documents. They both have to sign the application packet. They both have to contribute bank statements and pay stubs. Um, and I get there's situations where a, a spouse may have deeded a property over to an ex-spouse, but that does not absolve them of the debt associated with the mortgage. So these are important things to know before you start a short sale. Um, I get asked this question a lot. It, maybe you're only talking to one spouse and the one spouse may want to work with you as a listing agent, but you're not going to be able to take on that short sale listing if both spouses are on the note. So please keep that in mind. It's a little tip for today and um, enjoy the rest of your day in freezing December 2018. It's pretty cold today, uh, December 5th. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.